Upon waking, the first thing to do is throw back the bed covers, allowing the bed to air out. Bed jackets were common in the 50s and were often worn to keep the upper half warm while sitting up in bed. The curtains are opened and the window too, letting the crisp, fresh morning air flow into the bedroom. Before preparing breakfast, freshening up in the bathroom is required. The face is washed with a mild soap such as palm olive or pears. Some ladies prefer to shower or bathe in the morning, and this can be done before breakfast. And I think it goes without saying, but of course you need bubbles. Pear's transparent soap was introduced in 1807 and was another common item in the 1950s bathroom. It was advertised as soap for the skin and complexion. Cold cream was used in the evening to remove makeup, but in the morning on a fresh clean face, moisturizer was used. Oil of Yulan, which later became known as Olay, introduced a pink beauty fluid in 1952 and was a staple on my grandma's vanity table. After finishing in the bathroom, it is time to prepare breakfast for the family. While the kettle boils and the eggs cook, preparing the husband's lunch is the next on the agenda. My nan has always prepared the best sandwiches, so I have a few sandwich secrets to pass along. Always make sure the sandwich isn't dry, so use a good amount of butter, mayo or relish. Put lots of fresh salad on and don't forget freshly sliced onion and homemade beetroot for extra juiciness. Voila, the most delicious sandwich you've ever tasted, and all packaged up for the husband to take to work. With breakfast almost ready, it's time to collect the newspaper that was delivered earlier this morning. The headlines on the paper for Thursday, February 7th, 1952, state the new Queen's flight from Africa was delayed by a severe storm, thus prolonging her royal duties following her father's death. A simple yet satiating breakfast often included a variety of foods such as eggs, bacon, fruit, coffee, milk and juice. Now with breakfast served, the couple can enjoy each other's company over a cup of coffee, a delicious breakfast and the morning paper.
breakfast finished, it's time to kiss the husband goodbye. And now to clean up the dirty dishes left over from breakfast. Before getting dressed for the day, if you have extra time, it's always nice to sit down and do the crosswords from the morning paper. This is something James's grandma has done her whole life, and it's a great little activity to work your brain each day. Before getting dressed, you should always make sure your clothes are fresh and ironed. Now make sure to neatly make the bed. A great way to start off your day after breakfast is changing into something comfortable to do your morning exercises with Jack LaLanne on TV. Okay, well, I mean, we take one start at a time, one step, two step, three steps, four step, and before we know it, we're right up there where we want to be. Finally time to change into your outfit for the day and do your hair and makeup too. See you next Sunday. Have you seen the storm delaying the plane? <laughs> <laughs>